Welcome to my channel. Today, I will cover marijuana penny stocks. And you will be surprised to hear that why US is still skeptical about the pot. I mean, marijuana or marijuana medical usage is facing many restrictions in the States. Meanwhile, in Canada, the next neighbor to the US gives the port a green flag. And to inform you, Canadian government legalized medical marijuana in 2001. Question is whether Canadian marijuana penny stocks is a buy. What are the risks and rewards embedded in this asset class? Oh, okay, sorry. I mean, natural asset class. Stay tuned to find out. Don't forget your cup of tea and then subscribe. Remember, our target is 500 subscribers. Thank you. Okay, before I continue, let me clear this. I'm not a promoter of smoking cannabis. And to my friends in Sweden, Ireland and Paris, we would frown about this presentation. And to those who would like to ask whether the pot is allowed in the UK, <laughs> I have answer for you, no sir. You see, this is government uh, law presented by Sun, <laughs> the tablet paper in the UK. It says, cannabis remains illegal to possess, grow, distribute, sell, or grow in the UK. Being caught with cannabis comes with a maximum of five years in prison and unlimited fine on both, or both rather. While being convicted of producing and supplying the Class B drug carries up to 14 years behind bar and unlimited fine, or both. I didn't make the law. Okay. And to those who frown at me and wonder if I am promoting cannabis no sir i am talking about medical usage of the product the stocks attached to it are the company behind the stocks that said i will examine a few canadian marijuana penny stocks with massive upside i mean massive gains within the next two years or less okay first on my radar is sugar made with ticker symbol OTCQB. This is a medical marijuana penny stocks. And as part of the company management and development strategies, the company continue to acquire several companies which include BZRTH LLC and Antenna United, etc. And recently, it also acquired an option to acquire two additional locations that are expected to produce over $20 million in revenue annually. The CEO of Sugar Mead stated that the current acquisitions making Sugar Mead one of the large, larger suppliers to marijuana marketplace and the company is still looking into further acquisition targets. In my opinion, this stock has a massive upside. Potential, if you like. Is it a buy? For me, it is. Please do your research. Next. On my list is the Village Farms Chiku Symbol VFF. Village Farm International is among the largest and the longest operating vertical integrated greenhouse growers in North America. It produces and distributes fresh premium quality produce nationwide in the US and Canada. It owns and operates pure sun farms on the largest cannabis growing operation in the world. The cannabis stock has a market cap of $415 million. Okay, next on my radar is Alferia with the ticker symbol APHA, founded in 2013. Alferia is a high quality cannabis producer. It runs multiple cannabis cultivation facilities and serve customer in more than 10 countries, Alferia owns and operates several cannabis based branch such as Alferia, Broken Coast, Solel, 
good supply, etc. The cannabis stock has a market cap of 2.7 billion and has an earning per share of uh, 10 cents, I mean 30 cents. Next is the Kronos with the ticker symbol C R O N. Kronos produce and distribute marijuana across five continents. The company operates recreational marijuana branch such as Cove, C O V, and Spanish. They also operate C B D brands such as Lloyd Jones and Peace Plus. Kronos Group is based in Toronto, Canada. The company business model emphasizes research and product innovation. The company reported EPS with the earning per shares of $3.03 for 2019. It's almost, I know its most recent EPS came in at $2.71. That said, please be aware of the risk and uncertainties associated with this marijuana penny stocks. What am I talking about? Okay, wait, let me break it down. You see, marijuana industry is still at its infancy. Again, there are still a lot of speculations about the industry. And most of the marijuana penny stock are still traded over the counter, OTC if you like. And again, with small capital capitalization, say less than 300 million US dollar. You see, these penny stock do not only lack liquidity, but also have wide as spread. Many investors have to bear the brunt of all the risk associated with penny stocks. Okay, for more on penny stocks, please check my video titled Penny Stocks in United Kingdom and US. Okay, here comes the best part. Remember, our target is 500 subscribers. And to those who have already subscribed, thanks a million. The goal is to generate wealth, build companies, and then create jobs. Bye now. See you soon.